trust your routine, not your motivation. Today I'm discussing that because my motivation was a bit lost. So today I'm taking you on a small street photography walk around in beautiful Kemiönsaari, I think it's called. Uh, that is Chimitoen in Swedish. And it's a very Swedish speaking place. And uh, this is where I'm um, going to shoot at because also it might be really difficult to find cool things to shoot when you live in a small area. This is a very small area. So uh, yeah, that's the challenge I'm giving myself today. First things first, let's see if I find a cool place. I wanted to start quite high today because I thought I thought this town is cool in that way since it has this hill and then it goes down. And uh, so I thought it would be cool to start up high and go downwards, figure out what would look nice. I'm not waiting to see a lot of people since uh, it is a small town and people are working and uh, of course also uh, it's probably the problem of many street photographers that they feel that in a small town there is nothing to shoot uh, everyone sees if you sh like if you take a photo of someone and uh, so, so my goal is not actually to to find too much people but instead find the beauty of Kemion Sari uh, the beauty and uh, and figure out like what could what would be interesting to shoot as a guest of this city I think I can see something that maybe the people that live here don't care too much about or realize how beautiful it is because they see it every day but it might be the thing that made them fall in love with this place when they move here if they come from somewhere else of course there are a lot of a lot of people here that have been living here for generations and uh, but there's still something that keeps them here so so what's that maybe we'll find the beauty of Kemian Sari because of because of this and and maybe get us a bit a bit more understanding to why to why people are the way people are here. No, I don't know. Maybe we get understanding to why people live here. I could live here. I like small towns. Everyone knows each other. Walking sticks are probably trending here, since there are of them here. Where I want, I wanted to actually visit this place and go down the hills towards the town center, town center of Kemiansari. It's a very, very gray day. <laughs> gray days. So a gray day that meant. Of course, there's not a lot of shadows or something like this, but I don't know. Ooh. I like the angles in this one. Maybe something like that. Angles, angles, angles. Angles are cool. And uh, at the same time, to not shoot people is a challenge for me, as always, because <laughs> what I enjoy the most is uh, taking pictures of people. I think it's cool. I like how to, to watch how people move, where they go, what 
what you what makes people be and do in things in a certain way uh, this is the things that these are the things that interests me flowers cookie blummer all right Sometimes I feel a bit embarrassed to go around with a GoPro harness on me talking to myself, I mentioned this in an early POV walk that I, it, sometimes it, I feel a bit embar embarrassed, I feel, I feel odd but um, I think it's good to remember that no one cares no one actually cares about what you're doing or if they care they care for just a moment and then then they move on they think about something else uh, so i think that is very important to uh, to remember that that you do you when you do you 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 will do the good things for you you will do key things that are making you happy and it doesn't matter what other people think even though you feel like it matters you feel like someone's judging me or or that people would think i'm weird but we all are weird i'm super weird and it's fine that's how i roll and uh, yeah comes with the job to be to be weird comes with the job so this is clearly the the library kiriasto in finnish bibliotheque in Swedish kids playing on ice cool ice is fun but I think we are all waiting so much for for spring for Sun library 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 let's see what I find will there be something cool da, 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 da. Oh, this car is cool. Wow. Let's see if I can take a cool shot out of it. Hmm. Maybe like that. Really cool ride. Hey, <laughs> nice. Nice one. What next? I came from over there. <clears throat> I would say it's a it's a big challenge to find out something cool to to shoot. Um, maybe something like this. Trying something new. Maybe I have to do it like this. Oh, a flower, a dead flower, a bit of a macro street photography, that's not what you see much of. Macro street photography boys, girls, whoever you are, no matter what gender, do your macro, feel the macro. Actually, that house over there, the yellow one, it looked really cool. Uh, I thought it was, I thought it was probably the most interesting building around. Uh, seems like, looks like some sort of a old factory of some or something. No idea what it is, but I liked how it looked. I thought it had soul, something that uh, 
that I have been talking about with many people. What is a soul in a photography? What soul in art? What soul in a building, in architecture? What does it mean? I think it's a difficult question to answer. What is soul? What, what, what? How do I find soul? A shop. And I want to go behind that shop to figure out that yellow building. Um, definition of soul in art and photography. For me at least, soul... My friend said that Oh my god, this is so difficult. Something new in photography or in anything in life might feel soulless. Might feel it's more about the shape, it's more it's more about what it represents. Um, but something with a soul, for me, it's often something old because there's a history. I think the history, the history behind the object is what makes the soul. That's why I like this old building right here. And actually I like those wrecked cars as well because that's, there's a history in it. And um, so if something is really new, it's much more difficult to see the the meaning of it all and uh, or at least, I don't know something like that so so I think that when I look for when I look for these soulful pictures it comes easier to me to find it in old objects, in broken objects, in old people, <laughs> in broken people maybe, because there is a story. There is something, someone has gone through something and those marks, those scars are probably the soul that I'm, I'm looking for. Maybe. What do you think? How do you find the soul in a photo? How do you find, or how do you, how do you, how, how would you define the soul? That's probably what I'm thinking or asking. How would you define the soul? Beauty of Kimi and Sari. I find beauty in junk. I find beauty in rust. I find beauty in contrasts. Maybe something like this, and then... How do you like a frame like that? Very often I forget to take pictures of the... To have like more foreground in my images. And uh, that's when I, when I look at an image, if there's some foreground, I find it so much more interesting. Gives me so much more to, to grasp. And, uh, and yeah, so I think to, to, to think about the, like the foreground, the middle ground and the background makes, uh, makes a lot of difference. When, uh, 
composing a, a shot. Super cool. An old truck. Mm -hmm. So this is a part of Kemian Sari, the city center, the town of. Oh, that's very cool. The town of Kemian Sari. There is of course much more to it than just this town. Uh, but I wanted to show you around and remind you: don't trust your motivation. Trust your routine. Go out, create art, even though if you're not very inspired all the time. Inspiration will come from keeping the routine. And that's actually all I have to say today. Don't, as you know, give up your daydream. <laughs>